The April 2021 trade that brought Juan de Peralta to the Bronx wasn't exactly a blockbuster. The main thing discussed wasn't even that Peralta came over, it was the debate about Mike Tochman heading out. Yankee fans subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest Yankees news. Before his genuinely strong 2022, Peralta started to show signs over the last couple months of 2021. As mentioned, he ended July of 21 with an ERA of over 5, having hit the COVID-injured list in early July. He returned on August 6, and from that point on, he had a 1.42 ERA in 25.1 innings. He went from random back-of-the-bullpen guy to a player the Yankees had reasons to keep around for 2022. While he started the season still towards the back end of the bullpen, he didn't end it there. Between a combination of injuries to others and Peralta showing himself to be pretty good and reliable, he worked his way into a bigger role as the season went along. Now going into 2023, Peralta is seen as an important piece of the bullpen, and the questions are whether or not he can keep up what he's done over the last 1.5 seasons. Relievers come out of nowhere or fall out of favor over the course of one season all the time. While having some faith in Peralta is obviously warranted, it wouldn't be crazy if he regressed a bit this season. That being said, there's also reason to think that Peralta can replicate what he did last going forward. His peripherals were generally not far off what he actually allowed in 2022. Peralta emerged as an entertaining character and an easy guy to root for. It would be very fun if he could continue his success into 2023, not to mention crucial for Yankee pitching staff that's taken some hits this spring. Mixing up his pitch usage seemed to unlock something in Peralta, and there's plenty of reasons to think that'll keep him on that track going forward. Subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest Yankees news.